Hello, hello, good morning. I am just getting everybody, everybody's lunch ready for school. But anyways, I was just going to cross off to, uh, yesterday's date from the calendar and I forgot. Jeff picked out our calendar this year and every day is a dad joke. So I wanted to share today's joke with you. So here we go. Down there. Did you hear about the circus fire? It was intense. <laughs> Oh boy, all right, that's a good way to start your day. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so where I can find myself. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky I found my way I just got everybody off to school. I get a lot of questions from you guys wondering exactly what I've been doing to lose weight. So I just kind of want to go over that with you guys today. So what I've done so far is I've knocked down my calorie count tre tremendously. Um, I went from you know eating all the time to I pretty much only have one meal a day and then I will occasionally have like a snack in between. You know what I mean? So just a little something. So if I, if I start to feel a little hungry, I'll have just something small, nothing too crazy. And then the things that I choose for my snack are healthy. So it's like nuts or fruit or, in this case today, I'm gonna have a little bit of yogurt with, with fruit. So that's what I'm gonna be making this morning with you guys. So we went to Sam's Club the other day and they had these. I thought it looked really good. It is Greek yogurt with honey and vanilla. I am not a huge yogurt fan at all. I do like the Greek yogurt though. I don't know, I mean, it's just a texture thing. I don't really know. But you don't wanna eat a lot of this because no matter what you do, you always wanna take a look at the, the calorie count and you also wanna take a look at the serving size. So you kinda of wanna pay attention to that. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna do the two thirds. What I, All I want from this is pretty much to just give my fruit a coating of it and you know, a little extra flavor. So that's all I'm looking for. So let's get it opened up and, and get this going. So again, my portion size isn't gonna be very big. It's almost about the size of my hand. That's all, that's what I try to do. I just try to focus the size of my hand with my portions for right now. I might go a little bit smaller, I might go a little bit bigger depending, but that, that's what I do uh, when it comes to kind of this stuff. All right, so I have some of those grapes we, we bought from Aldi's. I cut those in half. I have some blackberries and some blueberries. I'm gonna put them down into my dish because this is just a snack. It's not a meal. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do just a, a scoop, a tablespoon or so. I'm just kind of mix it up. Looking good already. Yeah, that, that's pretty good. You can add a little bit more if you want to, depending on how hungry you are, you know? That, that looks good to me, that, that's plenty. Where's my lid? And then just to top it off, I'm gonna um, drizzle just a little bit of honey down over top. Just a little bit. This Greek yogurt uh, is really good on its own as well with a little bit of a honey drizzle and then you use it as a dip. You could just do that as well and dip your fruit into it. It's really, really good, but yeah, that's my snack for this morning. Mmm. Super good. Another thing that's super duper important is staying hydrated. If I can get my lid on. <laughs> staying hydrated is so, so important. I drink about two of these a day, depending. So um, just keeping keeping hydration. And it also helps out too. Like let's say after you eat your, like, like let's say you're just new to trying to lower your calorie count during the day. Um, and you had the little bit of fruit and yogurt and it just, you still feel so hungry. What I typically did uh, when I first started on this journey uh, a few months back is I would just go ahead and grab some water. I would drink a bunch of water and I would go do something. And then in that time frame, if after 30 minutes of me trying to keep my mind off of it, if I still felt hungry, I'd go back and have just a little bit more of something. 
you know, healthy. Um, but most of the time, 99% of the time, if I just drank some water and then went and did something to occupy my time so that way I didn't, I couldn't think about it, I was fine. I, I was good to go. So um, it's really all dependent on you. And, and you know, if you're just starting out, it's gonna be hard. It was so hard for me, guys. Re- I'm not even gonna lie. It was extremely difficult when I first started this. It it really was. But it was just something that I knew was so extremely important to me that I did this. So it's like, I think that just really drove me to continue to keep going because there were so many times that I just didn't want to do it anymore. I just was like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to go on the walk or uh, I want to have that, you know, all day, every day. But I know that if I can do this, I know that you guys can do this. I know you got this. I I know words are easier spoken than than done, but trust me when I tell you, I struggled as well. I struggled through it and I made it through. You just have to have that willpower to continue forward and I know you got this all right anyways I'm outside I got got stuff I gotta spray paint so Charlotte's birthday is coming up like we talked about and I'm trying to figure out what to do for her for her sixth birthday she's so excited I I think she said the water park we also thought Chuck E. Cheese which we did Chuck E. Cheese last year you can see that in uh, a vlog we did last year um I don't know I don't know what do you guys think? What, what do you think would be good for a six-year-old? There's also children's museums we could go to, you know? I think she'd probably have fun with that. I don't know. You guys let me know. What do you think? What, what are you, what's your opinions? All right, I gotta let that dry. And I'm trying to figure out what to get her. She absolutely loves baby dolls. I can't, this girl and her baby dolls, I tell you guys. <laughs> She just loves baby dolls. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to get her any more baby dolls or not. There was this new teddy bear thing that I seen. I think it was called Thready. I don't know. Something like that. But it looks like it's like animated. And then there was this also this new baby doll that I seen. It's supposed to feel soft and real. I think it was at Target. Anyways, I don't know. I, I like to think about these things in advance, you know. So we got Charlotte's birthday coming up, which is only like two, two-ish weeks away. And then Delilah's birthday is at the beginning of next month. So now for her birthday, we've done this with for everybody. We've done it for Sadie when she turned 10. We did it for Molly when she turned 10. And now Delilah, we take them to Disney. I, guys, I, I'm so geeked about going to Disney. I love going to Disney. It's my favorite. We haven't been since Molly's birthday, obviously, which was a few years back. But I'm so excited to go and do this and I know Delilah's excited too so lots of fun stuff lots of fun birthdays coming up um and just trying to plan stuff trying to be (laughs) trying to plan stuff in advance we already got Delilah's thing all planned out kind of uh we have Jeff's mom come in to watch the kids for us and the animals for us while we we go and do that because it's supposed to be a special thing you know because there's four of them so they all have to have a special moment right so we figure the 10th birthday is a great way to go and take them and it's just them and they get to have fun and and do things on their own you know so that that's why we're so excited for delilah's birthday but yeah charlotte's birthday's coming up and we got to figure that out now (laughs) as a just in case snack in case i get hungry again uh before i gotta leave to go get everybody i'm going to go ahead and boil up a hard boiled egg more than likely i won't eat it so what i'll do is i'll just save it for tomorrow and then i'll probably just have that for breakfast tomorrow or a breakfast type snack for tomorrow because i I, like i said i i've been doing this for a while so my body's pretty good at like i'm pretty good all day like i could honestly just not eat anything until dinner but sometimes you need that extra bit of protein to kind of boost you. I was a little tired this morning, so I thought maybe if I ate the yogurt, it would help boost that a little bit, and it did. I feel a little bit better now. (laughs) But more than likely, I'm probably not gonna eat again until dinner. And then I'll kind of show you my proportion sizes, because no matter what I make for dinner, for the kids, I'll eat that. Um, But I just make sure that it's proportioned for me and my, my diet. All I know is no matter what, No matter if you're just trying to get healthy, no matter if you're trying to lose weight or whatever it may be, just love yourself. That is the most important key in this. Also, one of you guys asked what this is. It's our water tank. We have a whole home RO and this is all our fresh water. (laughs) Because pretty much everybody in town has a well. 
except for anybody on like a main road, then they have city water. But city water doesn't run all in the, in the neighborhoods and stuff. It's like the weirdest thing. That was another thing we had to get used to when we first moved here. All right, I got to shut that stuff off, shut this door. I got stuff going in there. All right. That's done. I mopped the floors. I vacuumed. I did all that. I hadn't really thought about what, what we're having for dinner. What time is it? It's only almost noon. That's not too bad. Maybe I'll sit for a minute. I don't know. That'd be, that's a crazy concept. Sitting for a minute. I, I also, I had orders I, that were packed up. Jeff did that for me last night. So thank you. Thank you, Jeff, for packing those for me. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to sit for a second. And just like that, it's that time again. Time to go get the kids. <laughs> I'm back home from picking up the kids. Of course, it's raining. Why wouldn't it be, right? <laughs> but I went ahead and made dinner. Now, I want you guys to keep in mind that I do eat just pretty much the same thing that the kids eat. I always try to include vegetables and stuff, but no matter what I eat, I try to make sure there's a protein in there. So we have a little chicken, a little carrot, and I did give myself a little bit of ranch, and that's, that's okay. Don't feel guilty about that because you're still doing really great all day. That's how you gotta think about it. You don't you don't want to feel guilty about it, okay? <laughs> so this is what I'm having. I, I know it's on a little kid tray. I typically don't eat on one of these trays, but we're all, that's what we're all eating on today. <laughs> but you can vegetables. You can eat as much vegetables as you want. That's that's nothing. But just three pieces of chicken and then a little bit of ranch. That's that's all I'm having for dinner. So again, whatever I plan on making for dinner. I just make sure I keep it pretty small with the portion. Also, another thing is this is my first full meal of the day, pretty much meal of the day. So on top of all the exercising that we do, which, you know, I didn't really show you the exercising that I do. I know I talked about you with you guys that I go on my three miles, three mile walks, but I do a little bit more than that too. I also lift weights and sit ups and planks and all that kind of stuff. So maybe tomorrow I'll show you a little bit of that. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> but my thinking is if you do nothing but eat salads and, and all that kind of stuff, you, you tend to like, whenever you do have those off days, you want to kind of eat more, you know, on, on those off days. So I figure that if I go ahead and I just eat normal, you know, like what everybody else is eating, I have a tendency to not overeat on the weekends because I'm still kind of getting that that fill of like normal food during the week rather versus you know nothing but healthy stuff constantly you know but like I said um, in a past vlog of mine I don't remember what day it was but I told you guys and I'm super strict Monday through uh, Thursday pretty much I'm extremely strict very proportion sized very um, you know if I do have a snack it's pretty much similar to what I showed you guys, you know, or you could do granola or I do like a tomato salad with like tomatoes and onion and a little bit of lemon juice. It's really good. That's really good. I might have that tomorrow, but you know, every day it's a little bit different. You know, I, I like to do uh, like trail mix type stuff. So like I said, like a mix of nuts, you know, a lightly salted, you don't want too much salt either. Not only that because of my heart issue, but it will, um, you know, cause you to water water gain there so it'll it'll hold that on i noticed whenever um, i first started walking my hands would sell, swell up so bad my feet my hands it was crazy and then after i started to you know not have as much salt in my diet anymore i don't have that issue anymore so if you're having that issue maybe try using less salt uh, <laughs> we bought uh, mrs dash to kind of help out with that i still have, of course have a little bit of salt i gotta have a little bit of salt but definitely not as much as i used to Birthday is coming up. What do you yeah. want for your birthday? Uh, Let's see if I guessed right. We're going to the water. No, what do you what do you want for your birthday? What are you hoping to get? Mm. Such a hard decision. Like those um, tall buildings. The tall buildings? Oh, the uh, magna blocks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> All right. That's the, the little thin things that you can build and stack and make stuff out of. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Barbies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and dollies. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Well, I hope you kind of enjoyed um, a little bit of w the things that I eat in a day. I mean, I know it was just one day. You know, I, I understand that. But I also can't stress this enough. What works for me might not work for you. Okay, these are just 
options for you to try out. If, if you're having difficulty, you could try the things that I'm doing and see if it works for you. And if it doesn't work out, that's okay. I'm sure you'll find something that does work out for you. Especially when you're first starting out, you're going to go through kind of this this ebb and flow, these ups and downs of, of it all. Uh, I know I did, uh, trying to figure out what does work for me and what time should I do this and, you know, what time, I, no matter what, I need to exercise. So I need to make sure that no matter what time of day that I have, I, I'm able to do that. I need to, you know, make sure that I do get a little bit of protein in there so that way I'm not so tired in the afternoon. But no matter what, guys, I know you got this. I believe in you. No matter what you're going through, if you're in it right now with me, you're doing amazing. All of you, you're doing great. All right, guys. Anyways, <laughs> I think that's going to do it for today. I hope you have a great rest of your night, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.